Diagnosing Duramax fuel injectors using balance rates. If you have a rough running Duramax with recently replaced fuel injectors, it is very unlikely you have eight bad fuel injectors. A proper understanding of the fuel and balance rate PIDs can help isolate the problem to specific injectors that are causing the fault. Balance rates trim the fuel to the cylinders so that they produce the same amount of power at idle. The normal operation of the solenoid injector produces return fuel. An excessive amount of return fuel indicates a faulty fuel injector. GM provides return rate specifications for the solenoid injectors based on a fuel pressure range and fuel API rating. GM recommends fuel return rate testing for diagnosing solenoid injectors, but the process is very labor intensive. To aid in diagnosing faulty fuel injectors, the calculated fuel rate and balancing rate PIDs can be used. Be sure to bring the engine up to operating temperature, otherwise the numbers will not be accurate. According to GM, balancing rates are okay if they are from plus six cubic millimeters to minus six cubic millimeters idling in drive, or from plus four cubic millimeters to minus four cubic millimeters in park. Looking closely at the data shown here, it looks like we have one bad fuel injector, number seven, but that's not the case. Before looking at the balance rates, be sure to look at the fuel rate. The fuel rate is the amount of base fuel being supplied to each cylinder to maintain a specific idle RPM. Normal values in park would be from four cubic millimeters to six cubic millimeters. If this number is too large, then a problem is already identified. One or more injectors are likely returning too much fuel. Let's look at the fuel and balance rate numbers from a real truck. Each fuel injector is being supplied with a calculated fuel rate of 13 cubic millimeters. If we add the balancing rate to that number, we get the actual fuel rate to the injector. If a fuel injector is operating properly, then the fuel rate in park ought to be between four and six cubic millimeters. If we diagnose the fuel injectors based only on the balance rate, it would indicate that there is only one bad injector, number seven. However, if we look at the total fuel rate for the injectors, we find just the opposite. We find that there is only one good fuel injector, number seven. So next time you are diagnosing Duramax fuel injectors, don't simply just look at the balancing rate, but make sure to look at the fueling rate as well as the balancing rate to get the complete picture of what is happening. Hopefully this will assist you in being more accurate in your Duramax fuel injector diagnosis.